Love it. It's a pleasure to come your way once again with the word of encouragement from the word of God. This month of May, we are looking at walking in the miraculous. And um, I want to specifically touch on how signs and wonders affected the lives of the fathers of the faith and how it is important that how and why it is important that we should not we should uh, be no different uh, as far as the faith is, con- is concerned if you look at hebrews chapter 2 um the bible says in verse 3 that how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? And then verse 4 says, God also bearing them witness. The Bible says that God bore witness to the first fathers of the faith both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. (laughs) God bore witness to the fathers of the faith, the Bible says, okay, with signs and wonders. I think that one of the evidence that your faith is alive, that God is with you, is that God bears you witness with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles. Look, it it shouldn't be a struggle for you as a Christian to believe in miracles. Miracles are true because they happen. I mean, if there were no miracles, Talk about miracles would have died along, just like talk about magic. You know, it used to be that people believed in magic in a certain way, but as as knowledge began to grow, you know, people began seeing through the lies. I mean, there are all kinds of shows on YouTube today showing how the magic performances of the great artists of. of you know, great magical artists of the past were done. I mean, there are all kinds of tricks and lies to make, all kinds of make-believe, to make people uh, think in a certain way, but they've all been found to be tricks and lies. You know, there's all kinds of mechanisms. Some even implement special tools for their tricks, etc., etc. But miracles have not had that kind of understanding. I mean, many more people are, are beginning to see that miracles are true. They are what the Bible says uh, they are. Because they are true. So, as a child of God, you should you should believe in miracles. Look, consider the life of Peter. Peter was a fiero in, in you know, in he, he was afraid. He, he, he was a type who was always ready to rush to the issue and talk about, but I mean, when it, when it, when it came down to the wire, he would just run away. He was a coward. Right? But Peter's life was totally transformed. All right? When he, 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 he became an apostle of the faith and, and started raising cripples and raising the dead. Look, his life was, he eventually, historians uh, tell us, he eventually had to be crucified. And he preferred to be crucified upside down. He didn't want to be crucified just like Jesus was. I mean, he didn't. He didn't think he was worthy, you know, to die in the same way as as his Lord. So he was crucified. He had become so bold and so confident in his faith, you know, in the latter years of his life, because that is what signs and miracles do. They change your life. They make you a better Christian. I, I, I really don't understand why all this, because it's a doctrine of the devil. The devil wants us to believe that miracles are not true, but miracles are true, and they, and they happen. I've told you about this experience I had 
in in Skipo Airport in Amsterdam. All right, I will never, I will never see saying because it happened to me, and it is true. It was my, I had taken so much luggage from friends, you know, when I was coming to Ghana for holidays. I had, I mean, I was naive, didn't know what the rules were, so I didn't even weigh my bag before getting out to the airport. When I got to the airport and weighed my bag, it was overweight, and then the lady behind the counter said i had to take some things out i mean these were, were things that belong to people all right in the chest that i belonged and the instruction was i had to offload some i mean make sure my bag wasn't overweight so right there in the open i mean in the open airport, they asked me to open my bag and get some things out <laughs> i mean it was a very strange experience to me i had never experienced anything like that so i was concerned who's Whose package should I take out? Suddenly, an idea came to my mind to start praying, praying in tongues. So I started praying in tongues. Started praying. Started praying, praying, praying. I didn't know what I was praying about. But I was just, you see, the Bible says when you, when you pray in this, in the language of the Spirit, it is not you who are praying, but your spirit. It is a spirit that is praying through you. So I started praying. Suddenly, eh, suddenly, a lady appeared from nowhere, from one of the rooms, and then replaced the, date, the lady that was asking me to take some things out of my bag. The lady motioned me to, you know, repack my things and then come come for, for her to serve me. Maybe she was watching, I don't know. She came, you know, and said, you Africans, I know you. When it is getting to Christmas, you, you overload your bag. It doesn't matter. Just pack up and then, uh, and then check, check in and go. The lady served me, only me, and then went away. And then the other lady who was there came back to serve the others. You know, the others who were still in the queue. It didn't, like it, at that moment, it didn't really, I thought it was just one of these uh, airport protocols or something. But later on, it, it just dawned on me that I had met an angel. I had met an angel. Miracles are real, people. Miracles are real. I want you to believe in it. If you are a Christian, a child of God, this month, look, as we are setting off with this theme, just be part of it. All right? When we ask that you fast, fast. When we ask that you pray, pray. These are the things that activate these things that we are talking. These things are spiritual things. All right? And these are the things that activate them. Be part of the spiritual activity and be, be ready for a miracle. Be looking out for a miracle. And God will surely come through for you. May God bless you. God keep you, give you a mind that understands these things that I'm talking about. And may God grant you the grace. Experience a miracle. An undeniable miracle. This month. In Jesus name. Amen.